All right, so you know how to read a level, but is your level level? In this video, I'll show you how to check your level for correctness. Keep in mind that on the instrument, you have two faces, the point of the instrument and the way to make the instrument accurately is to have the lower vial exactly parallel with the lower edge of the level and the upper vial is parallel with the other edge of the level. You can see that these two vials are curved and uh, in any reading there's only uh, one bubble that uh, comes to rest in the middle of the vial. So in this position uh, I uh, here made a surface that is level with a shim and in this position the level is level and the bubble comes to rest in the middle of the vial to check to make sure that the vial is actually mounted parallel with this edge I'm going to have to turn the level around on the same edge in this direction okay not this way I'm checking the same edge of the tool and I'm putting it down exactly the same position I got the end position here marked uh, for both uh, ends of the level and uh, I can put it back to exactly the same position. If the bubble comes after the flip around to the same position, your level is level. So this edge of the level checks out. How about the other one? For that one, I'm gonna need to flip the level around this way and take a reading. Let's see. That's looking good. That's looking level. Now I'm gonna flip it this way. And whoops. And put it down there. How's that looking? That's pretty close. Maybe, maybe uh, from your angle, it is the left side of the bubble here is kind of touching the black line. So it might be at half a millimeter on this edge of the level. That's uh, kind of close enough over four feet. There are better ways to level things over larger distances with more accuracy. But uh, the instrument is that accurate over its length. 